about here. Actually, I'm clear for takeoff. Welcome to her vlog! To my YouTube channel, I'm Shazka Karantak. I'm Claire Inso. And we're going to do a Q&A &A vlog! Ang daming natatanggap namin questions, so of course, we got more excited to film this one for you. To add a little spice. <laughs> so, gagamit tayo ng AirPods na may noise cancellation. If it's your turn to answer, it's going to be my turn to cancel the noise, so I wouldn't hear it. So, <laughs> hindi ko malalawan yung answers niya, or hindi ko maririnig, unless magchichita ako. So, um, oh, ang, ang point dito is para malaman niyo yung different sides of the story, of our story. Malay mo, may version pala siya na hindi ko alam. <laughs> <laughs> and also, this is my first vlog na nakalugay yata ako. And I asked her, <laughs> yeah. her hair done. Medyo mahaba-haba na yung vlog. Actually, peg ko siya na King Princess. Crush ko yun namin. Kaya pala crush mo. Okay, so who gets to do it first? Pick. Go. Go. Pick. <laughs> go first. So anyway guys, na yung mauuna. Black and down down. Okay. Let's play. Okay. Let's play. So, mukhang gumana. <laughs> mukhang gumana yun. So, ikaw yung sasagot o. <laughs> so, Moses. First question. How did you guys meet? And who did the first one? Nag-meet kami. Ang tagad na nung 2015 pa. Kasi yung, yung ex-partner ko before, may best friend siya. And yung apparently yung best friend ng ex ko is may thing sila. Nagka-followin kami sa social media accounts. So, nagka-followin kami. Oh, nagso <laughs> Ako na! So anyway, um, we follow on the social media accounts. But in 2015, pa, so we pa talaga kami actually na nagkikita or nakapag meet up personally. 2016 ba tayo? No. 2017. Then fast forward to 2017, we na kami. Kasi na base ako sa Cebu. Tunat niya ako sa Messenger. Nagwave siya. And then I reply back to ako since we are kami through social media. And then I asked if I was in Cebu. And I said yes. And we talked na we should hang out. So I said the first move is si Claire. Your turn! That's why I was so distracted earlier. I was so distracted. So, I saw it on Instagram stories that she's in Cebu with a friend. Niya. Nasa buwan din na acquaintance ko din. So sabi ko, you're in Cebu! <laughs> Yan, yeah, sabi na niya. So nag-chat na ako sa messenger. Nag-wave ba ko? The classic wave. Para narinig ko yan, no? <laughs> <laughs> Ayun. Malakasan mo nga yung music dyan. Teka, intro eh. So nag-wave ako. Tapos, ayun, makipag-hangout naman siya. Hindi ko naman siya pinili. Just move ako. Pero siya yung first na nag-wave ako. Tapos, <laughs> tapos yun, nag-agree kami na magme-meet sa isang bar sa Cebu. So yun, we met there sa rumor sa Cebu. First impression on each other. Love you both. Kung titignan mo kasi yung profile niya before, hindi ko talaga in-expect na posible pala siyang maging bisexual kasi parang super girly niya and another is parang party girl siya. Pero nung na-meet ko naman siya, like nagulat ako na hindi pala siya kung ano yung sa social media. So, sobrang opposite ng kung ano yung, like, naging impression ko sa kanya sa social media. Apparently, super sweet girl pala siya. Super mahinhin and calm magsalita. Hindi siya party girl. Then, mukha lang din siyang masungat pero super bait niya. Super jolly person siya. And, yun. Kala ko nung una, serious time siya. Yeah! And, super cute siya. Acquainted pa lang kami. Nag-follow ka lang. <laughs> Meron pa siyang girlfriend. Tapos, ano, flight attendant siya. So, traveler, gano'n. Ano, no? Chicks, gano'n. Maganda. So, pretty. Maganda siya. Like, nireactan ko yung isang upload niya. Sabi ko, so fit. So beautiful. Something gano'n. Tapos, nilike niya lang. A little bit of a bad girl. How's your ligawan face? 
this is something a lot of you do not know. But alam niyo ba na hindi pa ako niligaw ni Cheska? So we're really just friends. Naglili naliligaw pa siya sa akin hanggang ngayon. Pil na pil hindi niya alam na sinasabi ko sa lahat na hindi pa kami official. Eh pero yung totoo talaga. Wala nang ka-count na lang kasi kami from the day we met kasi parang nung una namin pagkikita parang alam na agad yung intention na medyo romantic. Kasi alam niya na ang ito girls. Walang naganap na ligawan kasi confident ako na gusto niya ako. <laughs> Kidding aside pero actually hanggang ngayon um, naliligawan ko pa rin siya. Hindi naman nag-stop like, yun ever kahit na kami na talaga and kahit pa sa future I'll continue to court her and um, I think one of the factors yun kung bakit ganito pa rin yung relationship namin growing and prospering. What are the three things we like about each other? What I like about her? Actually, everything. Eh, <laughs> joke lang. The actual, di na joke yun. I mean, kailangan ko lang kasi maging specific. Number one is, kahit saan ko siyang dalhin and kahit saan group of friends, Lagi siya na ikiblend in, hindi siya na hiya. So, minsan ako pa nga yung mo OP eh. Sweet siya and super caring. Siya yung nagpa-prepare ng pambahay ko na clothes every after work kasi alam niya kung gano'n ako kapagod. He makes sure na may food din ako every after ako umuwi kasi lagi akong buto. Super understanding siya in a way na kahit hindi na rin understandable yung situation. Sasabihin niya na naiintindihan pa rin niya and never siyang nakahinder sa dreams ko. Alam naman niya na priority ko is yung work. Passion ko yun. Hindi ko naman like foolish siya nina-neglect and I make sure to make bawi after she makes stump ko. <laughs> like top one ko yun. Super understanding and supportive niya in everything that I do. <laughs> First, gusto ko about her is she thinks ahead. Of course, it comes with her profession na pilot siya, so she's very prompt. Na-admire ko yung work ethic niya. Yun. Alam niyo yung priorities niya. Organize siya mag-isip. Oh, it's something I have to work on with myself. So, na-admire ko talaga na meron ako pwedeng i-look up to na pwedeng kong kayahin sa mga good habits. She's very thoughtful. She always thinks of my needs while in of her. So, para we we really work together as a team. She's very respectful. When I introduced her to, her to my family, like, I don't have a problem with like, briefing her on how she should act or what she should be like. I mean, she's very mature and responsible. It, I've never had any problem with introducing her to anyone, even to my friends. I don't know if she's that, but she's very romantic. She likes romantic gestures, like sending up surprises, buying flowers. How do you handle struggles? The best way to handle struggles is only communication. What I really like about our relationship and what I really want to impart on others who are struggling in their relationships is always communicate. Because you can't always make guesses. I mean, you can't always make guesses about how your partner is feeling. Or you can't always let your partner guess what they're feeling. Especially with a long distance relationship. Hindi naman 24-7 na nakikita niya yung mukha ko na mukha ko magtatampo, di ba? So, of course, even if there are things that are hard to say, hard to verbalize, mas mabuti pa rin pag, you know, you take the courage to engage in an uncomfortable situation because that's where you grow. That's how you will grow. Communication is key. Madali lang mag-handle ng struggles with their Siya yung, I think, mas mature sa amin. Binu-voice out niya what she feels. Super open yung communication namin. We try to understand both sides of the story. And another thing is, nire-respect namin yung if naghingi ng time yung partner. If naghingi ng time yung partner. To reply. Makapag-isip ng maayos para, alam niyo, hindi tayo makapagsabi ng hindi maganda sa partner. Favorite thing to do together? Matulog. <laughs> They actually, oh, super gusto namin matulog. Like, iba kasi yung comfort na nabibigay na patabi ko si Claire matulog. And kung i-consider talaga namin yung sleeping as date. Favorite thing to do together? Sleep. Your love languages. Or is it affirmation? Act of service. Fave trip together. Actually, yung 
training ko sa Singapore in which na nag-stay kami sa hotel for about a month. Ang ganda din talaga pag nag-travel. Parang may new experience sa inyo. Parang mas lalo nyo na hikalala yung each other and parang mas nag-i-inip yung love. Favorite trip together? Definitely our Singapore trip. <clears throat> that was my favorite trip because um, she had training in Singapore for like a month, I guess. It was for a long time. So I was supposed to be there only for like a week or a few days. We were able to meet halfway. Luckily, my sister is a flight attendant. So she booked me a ticket to Singapore. I mean, I visited my sister in Doha. And then after my trip to Doha, I went to Singapore to see Cheska. If I didn't come home, baka hindi na namin napansin na lagpas na pala sa limit ng travel yung stay ko dun. We were able to basically live there because it was almost for a month. We traveled to another country by land. We took a bus to Malaysia. Okay, so we had two countries in one trip. It was fun and of course I did my best not to be a distraction for her. So I did my own thing. <laughs> Have you ever been jealous of someone and had an argument about it? She did. Who's how much you follow on Instagram? Keep myself busy so I just obsessed over small details that I could have just really ignored. So she followed this person on Instagram. She found on TikTok. She's also a gay girl. For some reason, that one just really triggered me. And so I fought her. I was really chill. I, I always care less about things. But for that one, yeah, we had an argument. And it was resolved. Communication. Yeah, once. It's funny how I found out. Because we have a follow na foreigner, na lesbian couple. They replied at the story. Si Claire dun sa Indonesian lesbian na pinofollow namin together. And apparently, <laughs> nagpost yung Indonesian na yun na um, screen record na mga taong nag-message sa kanya sa inbox. And apparently, nakita ko yung pangalan ni Claire dun. As in, nag-init yung dugo ko. <laughs> Kasi wala kami access sa social media accounts namin. Kasi yun yung mga parts ng relationship namin and we respect namin. We trust each other. We don't front niya about it, pero super chill lang akala niya nagjo-joke lang. It took us like 3 hours to <laughs> explain what happened. So mostly mga two hours tag drama lang talaga. How do you keep your relationship stronger despite of being in a long distance relationship? Actually for this one, we'll do a separate vlog about it because ang daming questions generally about LDR stand by for that so we'll skip this one for the last question what makes a relationship last for me it's three things number one is open communication so like voice out nyo lang talaga yung na feel nyo and try to understand both sides of the story number two is respect dapat kung di mo wala yun or di mabawasan but madagdagan your respect mo sa partner mo. I mean, for me, never coming nagsigawan, never coming nagmurahan, never kami nakapagsabi ng mga, like, mga stuff na sobrang sakit. I mean, yun yung gusto ko rin sa relationship namin. Kasi, like, nandun talaga yung respect namin sa isa't isa despite na three years na kami. And lastly is trust. Kailangan mo talagang i-trust yung partner mo in everything that she does. In a way, para bigyan ka rin ng trust ng partner mo and never, never mo bibigyan ng reason para hindi ka niya i-trust. Never, never kaming like, nagkaroon ng doubts with each other. And we are are sure about each other na at the end of the day that like no matter what happened we will choose each other your turn it's a commitment to a long-term partnership what makes a relationship last is of course respect for your individuality even if you are living life with your partner being in a relationship with your partner of course you allow each other to still celebrate your individuality Quality. You still need to have boundaries. Oh, don't be such a buzzkill when your partner makes plans with their friends. Respect each other's time. Respect each other's priorities. Because um, you have to understand that you won't always be the first person on the list. I know my partner has work to do, and like she knows that. Um, she knows that I have school. I have academic responsibilities, and I also have work at the same time. So. If she needs something from me, if she needs something to ask me, 
she always asks me if I'm busy or if I have time because she knows that not always me and her on each other's on each other's top of the list. So so respect is very important. That's it. Respect, communication, trust, setting boundaries, celebrating your individuality, and it's gonna work wonders. So that's it. We hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, and if you reached this part of the video, feel free to comment your suggestions. What you wanna see next? Just get I and we'll gladly deliver. Yeah, just like, like we did earlier. <laughs> like challenge, so, challenges. Um, Part two, Q and A, questions, past talk, yes, prank, any, any, prank. Okay, I get myself ready for a prank. Sige, <laughs> prank. <laughs> yeah, feel free to comment down below. We're really enjoying this one, and we are so happy for with the love we are receiving from you guys. Keep them coming. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like, share, and, and subscribe. subscribe. And see you again on, on the our next vlog. Peace.